In this video, a lovely blood orange and cranberry sour uh, using JJ's uh, brand new blood orange vodka. Welcome back drinks fans. Today, really excited. It's first outing of uh, JJ's blood orange vodka there. Proper full strength vodka. Let's have a little, little taste, a little guzzle. What do we get? It's, uh, it's as I say, proper full strength, isn't it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I've lost it. 38% ABV on the nose. Proper vibrant hints of orange, obviously. I'm not overly convinced blood orange, but then I haven't smelt a blood orange for a year. I haven't been able to get them for God knows how long. Definitely massive orange notes there. In your mouth. Bursting with orange flavors. I would be, honestly, if you're gonna buy that for fun with your vodka cocktails and stuff, actually, I would be very tempted to use that instead of like a Grand Marnier, uh, a triple sec or a Cointreau or something like that. That is just bursting with juicy, bold, juicy orange notes. Mm. Really, really like that. Kind of got that bitterness to it as well, that bitter kind of vodka notes. This is, uh, this is what I'm gonna show you how to make in a second. This is a cranberry uh, and blood orange sour. Oh, that is so good. That is so, so good. Really, oh, the changes, the blood orange. I've got a little product coming up in a second that I'm trialing that I've got no affiliation to. They've just sent it to me to try it. So I'll show you that in a second. This is delicious though. Cranberry notes, not overly sweet. I've actually not added any other sugar to that at all, apart from this product that's coming in there. That is a really kind of vibrant but tart so I really, really love that. This is awesome. So let's crack on with making this cocktail. Obviously, uh, the ingredients, we're gonna be using the, the blood orange vodka, obviously. To go alongside it, uh, I've got some cranes, quite local to me, cranes, cranberry, and blood orange liqueur. Uh, I've got some lemon juice, some orange juice. I've got some uh, black pepper and cardamom bitters there, and I'm gonna be using my foamers instead of the egg white. The product I haven't mentioned yet is this. These guys uh, have sent it over to me. It's from Italy, so I'm kind of trying it out. This is actually a blood orange uh, kind of puree, syrup-based puree. Uh, so I'm just gonna give it a go, mainly because I can't find, I haven't been able to find blood oranges near, anywhere near me since, well, this, this is the end of blood orange season. So I'm gonna be using that puree. If you haven't got it, fresh blood oranges, obviously. So, uh, cocktail shaker. And also, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different to what I normally do uh, in this as well. So, uh, ingredient number one. Uh, first off, I'm going 45 mil, one and a half ounces of uh, my blood orange vodka in there. Uh, ingredient number two is uh, obviously my Cranes uh, Cranberry liqueur. Let's just have a little close up of this. Oh, it smells, oh, it smells amazing. Proper cranberry kind of blood orange. It just does what exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, I'm going 15 mil, half an ounce of this. Easy to get in the UK, uh, Master of Malt online. Easy, easy to get that. Uh, so that's that. Uh, I'm going for uh, some freshly squeezed lemon juice, uh, 30 ml, one ounce of lemon juice. There. I've got some freshly squeezed orange juice, complete with bits. Gotta love some bits, ain't we? So look at that. One ounce, 30 ml of orange juice with bits. Uh, I've got my Bitters there, black pepper and cardamom. I'm gonna put these in the cocktail. So I've got my little uh, pipette there. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna do, yeah, but a bit, just a bit less than that. I'm gonna do about a third of a pipette of that. Right, and then the final ingredient for now is gonna be these. Uh, so as I say, I, I don't, I've, I've used them. I had a little play around with them on a the live I did on uh, a couple of weeks ago now from time, where well, it was actually a couple of days ago uh, from filming this, but be a couple of weeks by the time this comes out. Uh, and I've, these are really con kind of concentrates. This blood orange puree, I'm just going for like a, a kind of a bar spoon, about five mil. I really, I haven't gone and used them enough yet to work out what the exact amount is that I need. So, going in there. Now, this is a sour. Proper, punchy. It really is. Now, uh, I'm not using egg white, I'm using the foamers, but someone said to me the other day, they've got better results with these foamers uh, by doing a reverse dry shake. Now, I'm not one for doing reverse dry shakes, but I thought I'd give it a go. So, uh, I'm just gonna, so I'm gonna chill this down first. Uh, so proper shake, as always, 10, 10 to 12 seconds. Right. Oh, 
it's smelling good. Right, I'm then going to strain out all my ice. So I'm going to strain that all out there. Get rid of that. And then, as I say, we're going to do the reverse dry shake. So uh, I've got my miraculous foamers here. I wonder if this will work. I don't know. Uh, I'm going for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> seven drops. It's just under, it's just about a quarter of a pipette. Seven drops. Right, and then obviously it's nice and cold now, so we're going to shake it down just to get the froth. Right, and there we go. I wonder, I wonder if this works. Uh, glass wise, I'm going to be using that lovely kind of old fashioned. A uh, bit of ice, just a few cubes, just to start it off. That'll do, that'll do. Uh, and then I'm gonna double strain this, actually. I like double straining froths. Let's see what happens. Oh, I don't know whether that makes any difference or not. We shall see. Right, there we go. And then just the garnish, obviously if you've got a blood orange, if you get one, garnish with a blood orange. I've just got a sprig of mint and that's gone on the floor. Sprig of mint, I'm just kind of give that. Pop it up on screen right there will be even more vodka cocktails for you to dive into, so jump into them. And as always, if you like me, give us a big old thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, make sure you subscribe to the channel.